What's going on, friends? Guess what? Boom! It's another live review happening right this minute. Let me turn off the Fat Man fan. Bam! It's getting kind of chilly in here, even though it's hot ass outside. Dude, I'm... Whoops! I got a thing. I got a thing. Oh, here it is. The V... X 200 kit by Augvape that you can't see. Here we go. Here it is. Yay. I'll show it to you up close in a few minutes. I have not opened this thing. This thing has not been opened. I did pull a tank out to go ahead and prime it because, you know, trying to prime a tank live would be kind of crappy. Uh, a sub ohm tank that's closed that you can't get to the coil. So that's what we're doing. We're going to check it out. And uh, talk a little bit about what we think the future holds for these disposable sub ohm tanks. Yeah? You guys want to talk about that? We got a VX200 mod in there as well. It's a full kit. Going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you guys some things. I appreciate everybody popping in the chat to say, what up? Um, figured I would, I'm feeling a little, a little tropical today, so I got the nice hat on. You know, it's nice and cool in here with the fan. The sun's out. Got the window right here shining the sun. And some, uh, some, you know, feeling a little little Gloria Estefan-esque. We'll pretend like I didn't say that. My name is Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Boom. Okay. So the VX 200 kit, it has one box, two boxes in it. Okay. One is the tank. One is the mod. I'm going to take us over to the website real quick. And we're going to take a look at what they say is available before we hop into what's in the box. Let me take a look here. Bam. Internet, internet action. Aug vape two VX 200 box mod. They got some pretty Pretty ones laid out right here. Available colors, black, red, gunmetal. Every picture says 200 watts. I don't know anybody that needs 200 watts, but there are some guys out there that like to build really big mass coils. And hell, if you need 200 watts, you need 200 watts. You know, if you want big, nasty, pretty looking coils, you got to do it, right? 510 connector fire button. Oh, look at that. It's like a full bar fire button. That's pretty cool. Minus button, plus button, or up and down. Uh, micro USB port, 1.3 inch color display, and a battery door. It's a pretty simplistic looking mod. Specifications, ABS and PC plastic, 65 grams. Uh, I don't know what that is in pounds. <laughs> 87 and a half by 45 by 29. This is almost two inches. This is like an inch and three quarters. This is a little over an inch. An inch is 25 millimeters. So an inch and a quarter ish. Um, so an inch and a quarter ish by one and three quarters by three and a half ish. Those are all estimations. Standby current less than a hundred QA. Power range five to two hundred watts. Voltage range 0.2 to 7.2 volts. Hmm. Resistance range 0.05 to three ohms. And output current. 40 amp working efficiency 94 percent hmm 40 amp output at 7.2 volts hmm hmm vx 200 body design is inspired by a cell phone it curves over the sides with the edge-to-edge -edge panel that fits comfortably in your hand so basically they're talking about like the galaxy s7 edge inspired it i guess uh pocket friendly Designed to be held and fire. Uh, four modes, variable wattage, variable voltage, bypass, and temperature control. Look at that. Ooh. Vroom, vroom. The UI simulates the car dashboard, which is cool and beautiful. You can read more vape time, mode, wattage, voltage, resistance, battery life. Awesome English. It uses 1.3 inch color screen with 240 by 240 RGB resolution and offers hundreds of color options. 
uh, cyan, white, green, blue, red. That's hundreds. Let's see here. Um, longer battery life, upgradable firmware, kit contents. All right, we're going to look at it right now. We are going to look at it right now. Let me check the chat right quick. Ba -ba 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 Bam. And I like to use 2,000 watts with a truck suspension coil. Rob, you are a silly man. You're silly. Don't vape a truck suspension coil if you can lift it up to your face hole. Okay, here we go. Let's go set up this little camera action here, and we will go like this, buddy. Pow. Okay. Oh, shnikes. That's, uh, I don't know what I just said. Let's get this um, camera here. Hold, please. There you go. VX200 doesn't focus anymore. I got to open up the... I'm not prepared. Wow. What happened here? There it is. There it is. Zoom out, Fulio. That's... There it goes. There we go. Advanced. Just in case I need to adjust something. VX200. Three-piece jewel sub-ohm tank. It's got a pink, a gray, and a green. Damn it, this autofocus is irritating me. Off with your head. There we go. Pink, gray, green. There's the mod. This product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. This warning only applies when product is filled with liquid containing nicotine. Bam. There's um, pretty cool, like stan-esque style coloring right there or patterning that's pretty dope Ooh, that's ooh, it's moving trippy aug vape another cool pattern and aug vape on the back kit contents one pc vx 200 box mod three piece jewel um the jewel sub ohm tank I guess they're calling it the jewel because of the shape. One piece USB cable, one piece user manual, original exclusive manufacturer, all vape technology. There's another warning, and that's all you get. Let's open the box, push out this way, and there is the mod. Before we look at the mod, we're going to look at the second box. Shh, there it is right there. Throw that on the floor. Jewel sub ohm tank, disposable, 50 watts to 70 watts, best flavor at 65. We'll test that. Mesh coils, 0.15. Aug vape, look at that. Red, blue, clear, and black. All right. This is not red, by the way. I just got to tell you that. Um, yeah, there's nothing else on this tank that's interest on this uh, box that's interesting. I did open this box already, I did not open the mod. So this box, here's the tank. You get three of them. One, two, three. In case you couldn't count. Let's take this out of here. Let's take a look at that. On the floor. Okay. So this thing right here, you see how the pattern is? Looks like a jewel. I guess that's why they're calling it the jewel sub ohm tank. You cannot take this apart. I see the O-ring and stuff. I think that's just just to make sure that the, the glued seam doesn't leak. I could put this on something real quick here. Let me see. I immediately off the bat see something funky with this tank that I'm going to point out to you guys. So, ooh. Yeah, there's no pulling that apart, just in case you were wondering. Inside, there is a 0.15 mesh coil that you can kind of see through there, if you look real hard. Um, on the bottom, there's nothing. What is that? That looks like just some weight-saving machining, kind of. Or maybe you put... Hmm... I don't know, that's probably from the install from the factory. But your airflow is down here. It is adjustable airflow. See that? See that? It's got stoppers on it. And it's got a built-in drip tip, so you cannot use your own drip tips. This is the fill. Right off the bat, 
I'm not sure how I feel about this. We'll talk about it up top. You pull it out. Don't pull too hard. You see what I'm doing? I'm already stressing it. Uh, that's the fill right there. It's not too hard to get anything uh, to get little unicorns in there, but you might hit this strip tip when you're trying. I will show you. Warning! So when you're trying to fill this, and I'm not going to fill this because I'm going to be giving this to my patrons, but I may get a little juice on it. See when you do that, see how it hits the drip tip? Anyway, put this away. So that's the that's the tank. The weird thing that I saw right off the bat with this is, what do you guys guess? That pin. You see that pin? The pin protrudes awesome, which is good. It is not a static 510. Never use a pre-built sub-ohm tank on a hybrid mech mod. Never. Never use it on a mech mod in general. Just don't use a pre-built sub-ohm tank on a mech mod ever. And I'm going to show you. I bet money. Yeah. Look at this. Boom. That's exactly why. Floating 510 pin. That's it. Most of your sub-ohm tanks will have a pin like that. Oh, no. I just dropped it on the floor. Ow. Okay. Well, shit happens. So let's open up the box mod. I'll find it in a little bit. Open up the box mod. Uh, 200 watts, aug vape, scratch and sniff. 200, aug vape. Yeah, it's a box. Inside the box, on the top, you have a user manual. Aug vape introduction. This is nice little, nice little user manual. Hey, I like this. Let's move that out of the way pictures stuff tank contents how to use ooh battery safety all you guys out there with little nicks in your batteries i see you you need to stop you're going to make yourself a statistic just saying just saying it takes a buck a buck in 3 seconds to rewrap a battery or hell a piece of freaking electrical tape will help out with that until you can get it wrapped shenzhen and that's it Here's the mod, the part that everyone's waiting on because this mod's got some hype behind it for some reason. This is the charge cable it comes with. This is the mod itself. I seem to have the gunmetal one. Ah, ah, ooh, wow. This thing weighs absolutely nothing. What a trip. Obviously, you guys see already fingerprints. What up? Let's wipe it off. Fingerprints. There is no no little peely thing. Can't peel nothing off. Very clicky fire button. On the bottom, you have the don't vape in a bin sign. CE designed by Aug Vape and some venting. One screw holding that plate on. It feels... It feels very like light and cheap. However, it's very solid. Like no rattling. Nothing feels like it's put together loosely. Everything feels really good in the hand. Like really good. It's just super light, which is what makes it feel kind of cheap. But it, it doesn't feel cheap, if that makes any sense at all. 510 pen centered. Let's see what we can put on it. I'm going to take a Ardent. Stick an Arden on there. Twenty-seven millimeters goes right to the edge. So that's pretty dope. Let's see what twenty-eight millimeters will do real quick. Here's the bulk RTA, which I reviewed just the other day. And uh actually was it yesterday? Shoot, I don't even remember now. The bulk RTA on here. Dude, the bulk RTA weighs twice as much as this mod. So 28 millimeters look okay on there. Not too bad. There's like a half millimeter overhang. It's about 27 millimeters at the um, at the the separation here, the line. So it is a dual 18650. Let's put some batteries in her. Very stiff springs at the bottom. 
Oh, dang. It didn't want to take my battery. These are a couple of VTC 5As. Those are really stiff springs, man. Okay, it added a little bit of weight to it. This is see-through. Look at how dirty it is already. Oh, well. Snaps on there. It feels pretty good. It, I mean, with the batteries in there, it actually feels like a really, really nice mod. Um, I have no idea what we're going to do here. So let's see here. Let's see if we can get the... All right. Is there a screen brightness? Language, temperature, LCD color settings. Standby, cutoff time, auto mode. LCD color setting, settings. Olive green, orange and red. Sky blue. Here, you know what? There we go. There we go. All right. I'm sorry about that, guys. So inside the main menu, you get variable wattage, normal, soft, high, back, uh, temperature control, stainless, titanium, nickel, TCR base, TCR advanced. I don't know what the difference is. You're going to have to look through the thing. I don't use temperature control ever really, but um, it has a quick timeout. Uh, temperature control, what else was in there? Ohm's lock. That's how you lock your resistance. Uh, variable voltage. Nice. I like variable voltage. Bypass. So you can use it like a, ooh, ee, like a, uh, series mech mod, which I'm sure it still keeps protections on there, but that's something else. What? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, did you see that? It counts your clicks. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one two three four five there we go all right one two three all right so settings see what settings are in here cutoff time give me that oh that's a vaping cutoff time so if you vape more than 10 seconds it will cut you off standby 30 seconds always on lcd color settings we looked at the olive green there you go we looked at the orange and red Sky blue, white and black. Kind of like the white and black. User defined. Uh oh. Uh oh. So let's go here. Let's modify this down to hell. I don't know. We can make a purple probably. There's a purple. Get the red down there. Get the green going. Let's do. You see the bar on the bottom? You can see what is happening with your color as you change the number there we go cool so you can do a pink you can do a purple um, you can pretty much change it to whatever you want within the spectrum temperature unit Fahrenheit or Celsius uh, language Sweet. English, Chinese, or I'm sorry, I shouldn't say Chinese. I don't know what that is. It's probably Chinese. Back. Um, factory defaults. Yes, cancel. Sweet, that's it. Super, super simple mod. Let's see how it fires a... It's at 6.6 .6 volts. Let's switch it back to variable wattage. Normal, 33 watts. Let's run this 0.12 up to, look at the little dot go around all the way up to 200. And then back down to Come on. It speeds up as you hold it. So the longer you hold it, go slow, and then it speeds up. So, all right, let's jump back out. Oh, crap. Let's jump back out. Um, I'm going to put this jewel tank on it, and we'll talk about it a little bit before we close up shop here. Let's see. Let's put this guy on here, the little jewel tank that I filled earlier. 
Let's take a look at the resistance. 0.16. Didn't they say it would be a 0.15? It's still close enough. Let's go back. Face cam. What is up, my friends? We are here. We are live. And I will look back at the chat real quick. Fictitious carry is fairly efficient. Only issue. Oh, okay. What are you guys talking about? You guys got your own dang conversation. You're getting eye strain. I, I changed it. I changed it. You have to basically turn the light off. I don't know how. It would be nice if it had a. What the heck is this thing? What is what is the red dot? What is that? What is that red dot? I don't know what that is. Um, maybe it's this button here. Maybe, maybe. Am I? Am I doing something crazy? What's the red dot? Go away. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I was recording a video. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. Reset. All right. We're done. Okay. So <laughs> hell it's just, it's just me. It's just me guys. It's you, what you see is what you get. By the way, that Addy stand I was using in the close-ups was the Dillagaff piston Addy stand. Dillagaff on Facebook. D I L L I G A F. I think pretty cool little, it's a piston, pretty cool little Addy stand that he makes. Um, this guy right here, let's take a couple of vips on it real quick. I, I heard a crazy noise. I'm home by myself. At least I'm supposed to be. Uh, that's... There's weird stuff going on in my house, guys. Weird stuff is happening. Um, I'm actually checking the cameras right now. That's that's weird sounds are happening right this minute. Check the cameras. Um, everything looks okay. All right, so just weird noises, I guess. Oh, and now I'm getting now I'm getting notifications. Okay, sorry. The alarm system thing sets notifications off. I'm like locked up in a room up here by myself. So when you hear a weird sound in a house when you're supposed to be home alone, it's a little strange. It's a little strange. Just saying. All right. So 77 watts on a 0.15. I'm going to take it down. Oh, now it's reading 0.15. It was reading 0.16. I'm going to take it down a little bit and see... Uh, how good this coil performs. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to interrupt the, the review. Just had some strange stuff happening. Okay. Now, it tastes... I'm getting the taste of the juice with a dry, like, with just a dry inhale. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure it's nice and um, primed. The airflow is completely wide open. Here we go. I'm using the one strawberry milk donut thing on there, cereal. Um, let me crank the wattage up. 50 watts is not enough. Let's take this up to 70. Give it a shot. The coil said the best was at 65, right? So let's take it down to 65. 70 was pretty good. Man, this mod feels really super nice in my hand i do have to admit it feels really good in my hand all right the flavor is really good the flavor is really good on this mesh coil just trying to see how the wicking's keeping up it may take a dry hit for you guys let's see 
seems to be keeping up just fine. Super, super densely, densely saturated. So it's wicking really well with a 70% VG juice. The airflow wide open is really good. I do have an issue adjusting the, the dang airflow control. Let me adjust the airflow control. I want to try it like about halfway because it's a little bit loud. Ooh, the 510 pin is hot. It's a little warm, the 510 there. Interesting. Now, note it. This isn't like a full in-depth review because I haven't used this other than right now. All right, the tank's a little loud. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The airflow's a little turbulent. The flavor's really good. I don't think beginners are going to care really about um, turbulence. They may care a little bit about loud. Uh, I think that this is a really cool idea for beginners. However, I don't see the point in making the whole tank. Maybe making just the bottom section that screws in be replaceable. Not the coil inside, but the whole like little deck section. You take the cap off, you screw in a new deck section, and then you're good to go. Um, that might be a better idea because you've got a whole damn tank here. And buying packs of three tanks i don't really know what the price is but i can imagine it costs i mean if it costs about as much as coils that's probably okay but you got a bunch of plastic and metal all mixed together and it's just i know you guys have heard it before but it's just more trash um the the fill the fill port let's focus here guys the fill port i don't trust i wouldn't put this in my pocket I'd be afraid that this was gonna leak all over my uh, all over my pants or something, and give you that really embarrassing e-liquid wet pant look that you can't get to go away because e like it leaves like a big old stain. It does come out in the wash, but it still stays there all day long. Doesn't matter how much water you put on it or whatever, make it look worse like you peed your pants at the office. That's a real fun situation, let me tell you. But the mod, however, I am thoroughly enjoying the mod. Um, I really like this mod. It, it reminds me a whole lot of... It reminds me a whole lot of this Rinco Manto. It's a little lighter than the Rinco Manto. It's about the same size. Uh, it, I think it can fit a bigger, bigger atomizer on top. Um, but with batteries in it, it feels really nice. This thing is not going to weigh your pants down. I think for a beginner kit, this is actually pretty dope, depending on the price. Uh, I like it a lot. I hate the pink color of the tank. I wish they would have just... I mean, why wouldn't... You're, you're putting a kit together. You gave me the gunmetal mod. Why wouldn't you put the gray tank or the clear tank in there? Maybe? Maybe not? Um, it has one, two, three. It doesn't... Let's see. Hold both plus and minus together. It doesn't look like it has a wattage lock. If you hold the plus and fire together, or the minus and fire together, nothing happens. Hold the plus and fire together, nothing happens. So basically, you have to turn it off if you're going to put it in your pocket. And there's no, yeah, there's no locking it or anything like that. Um, I think they're right at 65 watts. They, this is like the first time I've seen a sub ohm coil that actually hit how it was supposed to when they said best at 65 watts, good from 50 to 85, best at 65 or whatever it said. Um, 65 watts was a recommendation. It's actually hitting like pretty, pretty nicely. The, the flavor is really good. The flavor is really good. I don't even like this e-juice that much. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like a freaking jumbo jet taking off. Listen. That is crazy, but it's rocking and rolling. Um, what do you guys think about pre-built sub, full-on pre-built disposable sub ohm tanks? What do you guys think about this idea? I want you guys to put it down in the comments because uh, I think that, that would be a cool conversation. I'm really curious what you guys think of the, the mod. The mod, other than being a finger fingerprint magnet. Hold, please. Stop yelling. I'm making a video. Um. 
children's. My kids are home. Um, did my cameras lie to me? Okay, anyway. Kids are scary anyway, guys. You should be afraid as kids. Um, so, yeah, I, I want to know what you guys think of the sub ohm tank situation and the mod. I'm just really curious about your thoughts. This is the AugVape VX200. I appreciate you guys. There's not a wattage lock, Breeze Tones. Breeze Tones asked, is there a wattage lock? No, there's not a wattage lock. Um, not that I could find. Um, some people are talking about the trash of sub -ohm, of pre-built disposable sub ohm tanks. The Aug Vape reminds me of the Vaporesso Lux. It says vaping with TC. Um, John Galloway is talking about seems as soon as I buy something, it's on to the next. There's a constant barrage and moving of the industry. And that's true. It happens. It's a bad idea. Most things disposable are John Galloway. I don't know, man. It's gonna take some. Uh, it's gonna take some use. I have no idea on the use of these things. If you want to try it, seems like it's probably not that expensive to give it a shot since it's plastic. Uh, everything is plastic here. Everything. So other than the coil. Um, yeah, that's it. Augvate VX two hundred uh, mod. Really cool in my opinion. Tank. I'm not so sure, but it's it's working. Yeah, it's keeping up. Hey, you know what? Now that I got a, a Nick Fit happening, you guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. I will see you soon. And remember, damn that sound. Vape on, friends.